What's our new focus? Um, All so right. Morocco Kaiserbund, Madagascar. Literally Indochina. less than a month in each. So just um, do them. Yeah, I guess we'll just go left to right. Morocco has offered our nation little other than strategically located ports and violent uprisings in the memory of Abd el Krim and his Berber revolts. We should let Johannes Bell deal with the Riffian people. Who better to keep order than a lawyer? I didn't even realize we owned Morocco. <laughs> Casablanca. Morocco, that's that's ours. That's our oh okay. Yeah, alright, cool. Bevelin, yes. So after we go down the uh, the entirety of the Kaiser Bund tree, which will be about five minutes yeah. from now, um, <laughs> do we want to start heading towards the second Velkrieg? We I'm could. in, man. I'm wide awake and in this. Let's we could. Do it. Um, There's not anything else to I do. I mean, modernizing, finishing modernizing our air force is the only other other thing we probably should do before that. Um, just to have every advantage available. Man, we're we're. Industrialized. Industrializing like mad here. Uh, no template, yeah. So did we finish our current round of light tanks? We're almost finished with our current round of light tanks. These guys are all tra almost all trained up. It's like this one division that didn't get the memo to report <laughs> for training. Junkers. Junkers! How are we on... Still ahead on that. Ooh, assembly lines. Do Hell it. Hell yeah. Plus 20% production efficiency. Are you kidding me yeah. right now? Morocco Kaiserbund. We've established the loyal kingdom in Morocco as part of the Kaiserbund. Uh, yeah. Yes. Hooray. And next focus. And... Freistadt, Morocco. Yep. Uh, next focus, Madagascar. Madagascar. Madagascar has been claimed to be rich in natural resources, but due to inefficient governance, little has come of it. Few men know Africa as well as Arnold Schulze, however, and if anyone can govern it to be a stellar member of the Kaiserbund, it is he. Yes, it is indeed he. By the way, Deutschmittel Africa, I just realized, is led by Hermann Göring. <laughs> so apparently they shipped him off to Africa. In this timeline, he didn't have a he didn't have a crazy buddy to be crazy with him and give him a high level <laughs> government posting in in the homeland. Man, this mod is just hysterical. It is, yeah. So you know he can commit atrocities against minorities in the Congo instead of committing atrocities against minorities. He declares in, the uh, Bucharest Treaty. Yeah, <laughs> treacherous Romanians have decided to stab us in the back and stop their oil shipment. What? Bug. Yeah, that's probably a bug. They're, it's okay, our, they're our puppet. They shouldn't do be, that. Yeah. They shouldn't have any opinion of our importation of oil other than, yes, please take it. All right, I'm going to keep stationing more guys on the French front as needed until we have a definitive advantage there. Well, we're starting to prepare for war with them, so. Okay, so we have. Produced our last division of shitty panzers, so now we just need now we just need more army experience so we can start producing good panzers. Can we hire like a chief of army? Not yet. We don't have the us, political power. I'm just looking to see if there is one that'll give us <laughs> army experience. Nope. 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 Uh, what about general staff? Army experience gain plus five. Unskilled, though. That's not the best. Uh, so we're looking for army reformers. Is he our only army reformer? Looks like it. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oscar Hansen. He's a social conservative. But he'd give us plus 10% army experience gain. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. The Kaiser Bun project is going to be done in like record time. Yeah, I don't know if that's just because we waited so long to do Probably. it. Probably, but that'll get rid of uh, colonial upkeep, which is going to give us ten percent minus ten percent supply consumption and give us a bunch of factories back, which is almost not yeah. even fair. Like, yeah, 
Madagascar Kaiserbund. We've established a loyal kingdom in next. Madagascar. Who's next? Sierra Leone. The state of Sierra Leone is quite small and offers us little more than an important port on the western reaches of Africa. Mainly made up of jungle, one can imagine an adventurer such as Hermann Detzner giving, governing it excellently. Look at our base national unity. I know, we're, Lord. we're maxed out at this point. I don't think it goes above 90%. So, Which is going to be really helpful when yeah. wartime comes. Freistadt Madagascar. Unfulfilled import requests. Oh, I wonder if that's because uh, the American Union state has taken all the ports on the Texas coast. So we need to look elsewhere for our oil shipments now. Also, the U.S. doesn't even have enough oil left uh, since they're, they've are they lost the Texas Romania, oil man, are they sending us everything they freaking got? Yeah. yeah. You better be. Oh, yes, they're a puppet. So we only need to send them one factory and they have to give us all of their oil. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I forgot about that. So it was extremely worth it. I told you. Yeah. To uh, release them. Let's see. Computer not yet. Machine, not yet. How about, how's our doctrine looking? Oh, have I? No, yeah, we're, we're still researching doctrine. We could uh, go further in air doctrine, though. We could. Do it. Unless there's infantry equipment available. There's no, not. Not yet. I want the Luftwaffe to be the most dominant Air Force. We do, because we're running out of time. We're back down to 90% world tension, but the next major event's going to tip yeah. the world over is what it's looking like. Soviets are starting to move some troops to the board. Oh, man. They've got nothing here. Oh, man. It's so tempting to just go to war with them right now, but they're not even part of the international. They probably would join, though, if, if we declared war on them. They'd be dumb not to. Yeah. We've made Middle Europa really strong, though. Yeah. I mean... We absolutely have. Ongetreten! And how is the commune keeping up with us industrially right now? That's kind of what I want to know. We should be outproducing them we two to one. We should be vastly outproducing them, yeah. We can see, actually, with our decryption, we might be able to see. So they have between 57 and 63 military factories, Lol. between 60 and 68 civilian factories. Even if, the, even if they have 68 and 63. So like we have 122 <laughs> civilian factories and 65 military. So we're so, better than them even if they have yeah, 63. even on the high estimate. Sierra Leone Kaiserbund. Hooray! Hooray. <laughs> Uh, Indian Ocean. There are many heroes of the Veldkrieg, but question is if any of them has reached as vast popularity as Helmuth von Mücke after his courageous raids with the SMS Emden. He knows the Pacific on the back of his hand, although it might be beneficial to cooperate with the local rulers and divide it into several states. So we will have Ceylon, North Borneo, and Singapore as puppet states. Awesome. And then uh, what's the last one after that? And um, before we can... The last one after that is going to be... Kaiserbund Indochina. Indochina. Whoa! The death of Wilhelm II. Wow. Kaiser Wilhelm II has died of a pulmonary embolism in a Big. hospital in Berlin. It is the end of an age. The Empire must now look towards Friedrich Wilhelm to guide us through the coming troubled times. Wow. Wilhelm II dies. Uh, it's event the coronation. He's going to be a social yeah. democrat, so... He's... Yeah, so Wilhelm III, we should get an event for his coronation. Unless it's a bug. Coronation of Wilhelm III. With the passing of the great Weltkrieg Kaiser Wilhelm II, Wilhelm III has given a speech on his coronation day to guide all of Germany towards prosperity and to safeguard our interests throughout the globe. Free political power? Wilhelm awesome. Wilhelm III, yeah. And he's still training troops in <laughs> Berlin. <laughs> He's good at it. Military man to the end, yeah. Concentrated Industry 4. Dang. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Look at how far down these trees we are. This is We've, just outrageous. Yeah. Oh, shit. We need to be upgrading our uh, yep, do support it. companies. We're behind on that. Keep going down Doctrine. And Assault Breakthrough. Tactics movement. Attacker damage plus 25%. Defender damage minus 15. Hell yeah. 
Look at the king. Yeah. <laughs> the king's the like, Kaiser. The king's like, but I'm, but I am good at training troops. I'm the Kaiser. <laughs> and I will continue Do more to push train ups. you. <laughs> this is not enough push-ups. We'll wait for very good disability before we start spending any more. Not just push-ups, power. man. Jacks of jumping. Yeah. The jacks of jumping. Um, and we're about. If you're to... German, we apologize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did take four years of German in college, so my accent is a and just I, I complete am caricature. <laughs> German by blood, overwhelmingly. Yeah. Like, every relative past yeah. the generation before me is mainland German. I think there's a Swede in there somewhere. Yeah. And uh, there is a Native American a long time ago that married in. All right. But other than that, it's German. Freistadt Ceylon. Um... I don't know why it didn't break off our other... Right, next national focus, man. Yeah. Indochina. Biden, Indochina. The wealthy and very populous regions of Indochina has a history of resisting foreign occupiers. Eric Schultz Everth may be the man... Or may be... Might be man enough to keep it under control, but perhaps it would be wiser to split the region into several smaller states. Uh, Tonkin, Laos, Saigon, and Phnom Penh. And then we'll finish the Kaiserbund project. All right, status of Indonesia. As part of our Kaiserbund program, we have decided to make our Indonesian holdings a semi-autonomous state in our empire. How would we like to divide the lands? So we can create a Pan-Malayan state. Sultan of Malaysia becomes a puppet. Um, divide the lands between Sarawak and Malaysia. Hmm. I hmm. would say to create, we create yes. a Pan-Malaysian state. I why not? Why we need to have more. And they're a puppet. Let them yeah. do them, you know? Yeah. Federation of Malaya. We are low on tungsten, strangely enough. I don't know how we went from having no tungsten deficit to a tungsten deficit of 24. Let's wait until midnight and see if that's a bug. No, it's not. All right, we will trade for some tungsten. <laughs> we have uh, a puppet yeah. state. Yeah. The Algemeine Shaft, they will send us plenty of tungsten. We have a lot of political power, by the way, so we could start spending it if you'd like. Right, I'm just waiting for us to hit very good stability again. Right on. So yeah, we can't actually buy it up, we just have to wait for the event to fire. Man, our military is so good. <laughs> yes, our military is very good. We have what you would deem a very good military. Minister supports his ideology. Uh, Dang it. Let's revert that. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, at least we'll be back over 150 here soon. Yeah. Are we still making light tanks? We shouldn't still be making light tanks. We are. A We're lot of still them. still making a shitload of light tanks. Uh, we should only be making enough of those to reinforce the light tank divisions that already exist. Um, so... We're not low on anything necessarily no but what do we want to stockpile more of what so build yeah, what build slower restock our carrier fighters a little faster i suppose uh, all right kaiserbund indochina and the end of the kaiserbund project with the majority of our colonies now integrated into the kaiserbund we need to look at largest colony middle africa it's been incredibly taxing to maintain a centralized government there, but there's also Malta, Yemen, and not to mention China, which is very hard indeed to govern from Berlin. All right. So colonial upkeep modifier is about to go. Our production efficiency will increase another 20%, yeah. which is absolutely psychotic. Modify... Oh, yeah, we don't need to modify our government right now. Status of Indochina. So we can create a pan-Indochinese state, or we can divide it into Vietnam, Laos, and Khmer. I say we create a pan indo state. Absolutely, keep it yeah. unified. As long They're puppets, but they technically have their yeah. own government. They should be happy, and as the years pass, their national unity will yeah. trickle up. The Indo-Chinese Union. I don't know why we're calling it... Why are we... Oh, okay, so... Because we are parceling out these colonies, it's actually requiring us to spend more on trade. That's what's going on. Um, but once we complete the Kaiserbund, it'll be fine because we're going to get a bunch of factories back anyway. So we need more tungsten. We can still import that from Asia. We need some rubber. Um, 
Iron Guard Romania. They have two. But Ceylon has plenty. And they're our puppet. Do we have a puppet? Another... Okay, here's here's another thing we can do to save some factories. We won't import any from Asia. We'll import it all from Malaysia. There we go. Um, what else were we trading for? I think that's it. Yep. The we're out of stuff modifier just went away. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah, now we've got plenty of everything and we should have a good number of factories. Yeah. We lost about three, but once we get rid of that colonial upkeep, that's going to give us another 10% factories back. And here that comes. Yeah. Of course we want an increase in stability. Now Damn. we can start modifying our government. Yes. It's... And ended the Kaiser Bund project. We are now the global hegemon as now, far as I'm concerned. Now we have plenty of free factories. So why do you say we start expanding our naval dockyards? Absolutely. Um, yeah, Danzig's probably a pretty decent place to start with that. Um, what next, man? We can go down the military focus tree, or the naval focus tree. It's really short. We, we can also finish still the have Air the Force. Luftwaffe. I almost think we should go there first. Why not? Yeah, build more air World bases. World tension is Holy shit, Hessen, gets, Hessen and Brandenburg get 10 air bases. Good lord, do it. <laughs> <laughs> build air bases both in the Heimat and outer provinces so we can set the infrastructure for better defense of the skies. Yeah, we now have just a shitload of factories we should we're we're gonna overwhelm france yeah. yes and we have finished atomic research um keep going down it oh we're we're, uh, we're still 1.3 years ahead experimental rockets yeah it's still one that's all right 1943 is when that's all gonna unlock let's see construction we're ahead what does atomic research give you isn't it like a two percent res research that's bonus awesome. to everything yeah uh, still researching doctrines. Oh, we can upgrade our artillery. And should. Definitely. Honestly, we're letting world tension trickle down. We're, ra we're waiting for the Internationale to pull something at yeah. this point. And while we're doing it, we're just getting national focuses and making I mean, awesome stuff. Honestly, if they don't pull anything, we'll modernize our Air Force, we'll modernize our Navy, and, and then, then we'll, we'll kick get them, them in the the division dick, of missile yeah. africa <laughs> yeah give him the friggin dick well said. with our decision to implement kaiser bud project we still have to decide the extent of its, its implementation over various regions under our control <laughs> one such territory is the middle africa while conservative members of the reichstag are arguing for keeping it as it is majority of politicians have already realized that the freistadt of middle africa is more burden for german armed forces in the economy and expect for prestige it brings only limited benefits therefore drastic no all Reorganization of this area is needed if we want to retain our presence here with as limited colonists as possible. So we can divide it into states. Right. Uh, we lose political power. We get the reorganization of Middle Africa. Federalize it. Um, keep everything as it is. For minus less political power. Honestly, I don't see any real reason to divide it up. No, federalize it. Yeah, let's... Federalize it. We'll go negative, but keeping it as it is, I'd rather get the bonus. Yeah, right? Yep. Well... Do we get anything from federalizing it? We get reorganization. Uh, we got to see what advanced. it does. We don't know what it does, actually. I, I don't... It just told us how awful it is as it is. Okay. So, do it. We're negative for just, like, a freaking little while. So... It's us. Stoff and Lipford. We kicked Gring out, yes. I guess. <laughs> He's not uh, oppressing minorities in the Congo anymore, I suppose, is what just happened. With our decision to implement the Kaiser Bund project, we still have to decide... Okay, so Malta. Grant them limited autonomy. They become a puppet. Uh, grant them limited autonomy. Yeah, why not? We are not unmerciful. <laughs> Holy shit. So, something we just did gave us a bunch more factories? Interesting. Well, we federalized oh. Middle Africa. That, that might could have, have been it. it. Yeah. Um, what are we at a deficit for? Really nothing. Um, nothing important. Now, at this point, we're building up stockpiles. So, it's like whatever's important. I mean, we can start building tactical bombs. Why not? Yeah, we should definitely start doing that. I'm actually going to put that at a higher priority than friggin' carrier fighters or whatever. Okay, 
Soviets still haven't gone to war with Siberia, so it could be a quick war. We only have to get to the Urals to destroy them. Dang. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, that's why. Because we, we have more military factories to build. There we go. Oh, I grant them limited Status autonomy. Of Somaliland. With our decision to implement the... Okay, so Somaliland is... Stop. I wanted you to pause. Uh, yeah, we'll give yeah. them autonomy. Why not? We don't need to... Well, the yeah. lessons of the Kaiser Bund, I believe, are that we don't need to micromanage, micromanage yeah. our entire holdings. That it was more trouble than it was worth, I think, is the lesson. We're going to continue building the... Uh, Infrastructure? Yeah, the, the screw the Soviet spawn. <laughs> Minister supports his ideology. Uh, we're we're going to lose stability. Yeah, we're at good. I mean, <laughs> it's not that bad. Reorganization of the Oligostasian company. Um, with our <laughs> decision to implement the Geyserbund project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One such territory is southern China, currently administered by the AOG, while conservative members are arguing to keep it as it is. Um, so we could reorganize them into a new Chinese government. We lose 50 political power. Um, becomes owner and controller of Hainan. So it's give power to the Kuomintang, which does the exact same thing. So the ruling power is different. Republic of China... Or keep everything as it is. For um, a huge hit. Let's reorganize yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, we don't want to give power to the Kuomintang. That's not a Tang that I like to experience. No. <laughs> um, let's see. Still ahead of time on that. Oh, look. The BF-110 we could research yesterday. Yeah, we don't really have any reason for having heavy fighters, though. Because the uh, light fighters are so much more efficient in this game. Uh, oh, hey! Improved yeah. anti-tank. Do it. By the way, are we producing enough anti-tank? Oh, yeah, we lost some dockyards, too, from the reorganization. Status of Southern Yemen. Um, admirals of the Kaiserlich Marine are looking for keeping this territory under direct control as a way to keep the Gulf of Aden under our control. The most politicians would rather cut down our expenses. Uh, yeah, let's offer... Yemen to Yemen? Let's see. They're not in our faction. That's the interesting thing. So actually, in that case, I think we should keep it. Yeah, why not? Because if, if it's going to drop out of our faction, it's not worth it. I agree yeah. completely. Like, Somalia, it's like, yeah, we'll give you your freedom as long as you stay in our faction. So the Federal Republic of Middle Africa? Yeah. Social conservatives. Fair What's enough. happening over in North America? Um, the United States is being cannibalized. Yeah, the Union State is actually making some pretty big gains. It, it actually might end up being a race to Denver. How about that? Um, cause yeah, whichever one of them could get the U.S. to capitulate first is gonna get all of their And the U.S. Territory. is actually fighting them in the north. Yeah. Oh wow, we looked at that at an interesting time. The syndicalists are getting pushed back by the feds. Oh. Alsace, Lorraine, or war? It's happened, oh, yo! Oh, here we go. It's happened. The French ultimatum has arrived in Berlin. They're demanding that we hand over the imperial province of Alsace, Lorraine, or Lothringen, which hasn't been controlled by the French since 1871. French are threatening with war if we refuse. This is where we must stand up to the French and resist their ambitions of world it's domination. It's war. Uh, it it's is war. It is war. The Germans refuse. It's war. All right. Yeah, here we go. German Empire has, has called our entire empire into the war. The Second Welt Krieg, 2nd of November, 1941. The Weltkrieg is universally agreed to have been the most horrible war in human existence, but it appears that even the greatest nightmares cannot deter man's lust for blood. After numerous political struggles and periods of diplomatic tension, the uneasy peace between Germany and France has broken down. These two superpowers are now mobilizing their armies and preparing for a conflict never before seen to human eye. 
The military developments of the inner war will be put to the ultimate test. New types of weapons, planes, artillery, and ships, which were seen briefly during the uh, Romanian War, um, which served as a prototype for this war, much as the uh, the uh, Russo-Japanese War did for real... Well, I guess that was a prototype for World War One more than World War Two, but yeah. The military developments of the inner war will be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who will emerge victorious? This is a question none can answer. War is hell. Let's go. So...